Hey everybody, it's Matt from Dell Bridge Gold Saints here, and I'm going to show you my Fujito debt profile. Uh, from, this is Fujito back all the way in set two. He's had a bit of support um, from the anniversary again, because he got anniversary support last time, didn't he? Um, so we'll go into Fujito then. So Fujito is, for those who can't remember or have never seen him before, or you know, completely new. He's got a permanent of each of your Son Goku and Vegeta cards uh, in all areas are red, blue, and green. Uh, he has an auto of one of your attacks. You can mill the top card of your deck. If it's a red card, he gains 5k. So if it mills, obviously just a straight up red card, he gains to 5k. If you mill a Goku or Vegeta, it's still going to be 5k because they are still red. Um, his awakening is 2, two to draw at 4 or less. And then we flip him over. Um, so he's got the same permanent, uh, apart from his auto now is, is when he attacks, he draws a card, and then if there is a total combination of or whatever, so basically you can have 10 Gokus, or 10 Vegeta's, or a combination, or whatever, have whatever you fancy, in your drop area, it gains 5k in double strike. So it can go like 20 double. Have fun. Um, so to start off with, we got my unison card option. Um, is Jiren, Legend of Universe 11. So his specified is free red, and auto, when your opponent plays a battle card or a unison card, you may choose uh, that card, and it gains minus 10,000 power per turn if you do negate this skill for the turn. And then he has plus one, where he gains double strike. Or you can do minus three for activate battle, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignore barrier, and it gets minus 25k power per turn. Um, he's just in there as a unison really, he's also beefy double striker, very nice also, just kind of just gives that deck the extra bit of push I feel. And can kill anything on the very first thing that you play. And yeah, killing things <coughs> is always fun. And killing their unisons. Well, it minuses it by 10k so it's not always a kill, but it can be. Um, so then my negates, I've gone with these two. So we've got Atrim's Technique, which is your sparking one. So you can take a life if you've got five in a drop. Um, you don't negate the attack, um, but you can choose something to get minus 10k. So a battle card, it can only be a battle card, I'm pretty sure it can't be a leader. Uh, yeah, battle card. And then your leader gains 40k. So it basically is a negate, because unless your opponent's going to go for end game uh, and they've got a crazy ass hand, they're not going to um, try and push for end game offer <laughs> you and your leader's gone I'll get 40k power look at me um, and then the other negate I've gone with is uh, is all is that all you've got blur words uh, this one it actually does negate the attack uh, but you can discard a red card and choose two of your opponent's battle cards to get minus 15k power alright uh, on to the battle cards then oh ok <laughs> there is a one cost and there is only three copies of it. And just to help the self awakening, we have Vegeta, Savior of the Future. Uh, one cost, 5k, he attacks, take a life, double strike, uh, and gains 10k power. So blue finally up there, double striker, 10k, well, 15k's even. Um, so it's a nice addition. Um, bu -bu 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 into the two costs. So, for my super combos, I've gone with three of the Master Roshi Sparking one. So, you've got five cards in a drop, you can get 10k, well, 10k straight up anyway. But if you've got five cards in a drop, it's a draw card. Um, and I've got one Chi-Chi, just, just because <laughs> you can have four Roshi if you want, or whatever other red super combo. It was just, I just thought, why not? And... I mean, come on. <laughs> no, nobody's going to want to get rid of this from the combo area. Um, on to the rest of the two costs. We've got... Um, do, 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 do. There, yeah. We've got four copies of Saiyan Duo Vegeta. And four copies of Saiyan Duo Son Goku. Um, you have to run... 
four of each of these. You can't do it any lower, um, as far as I'm concerned. It's just because of what the deck needs to do now. Um, this helps set that up so well. So the Goku, he's got a permanent. If Sanger or Vegeta is in play in the battle area, it becomes 10k instead of 1k. And then auto, when he's played, you can choose one card from your hand and discard it. If you do, you get this from the deck or drop area and play it in rest mode. And then shuffle your deck if you look through it. Vegeta, um, same permanent, and then he also has another permanent of um, while this card is in play, you can't play non Vegito cards. And then when you play this card, you choose up to one of your blue engines, which is to active mode, which I completely forgot about in the game. And uh, you negate the skull, doesn't it? The Goku. Uh, no. No, it says when you play this card, choose one of your choose one card from your hand and discard in place and drop area. If you do, choose up to one Saint Joe or Vegeta from your deck or drop area, play it in rest mode, then shuffle your deck if you live through it. Um, and then that was meant to get me an energy back, which I completely forgot about in the game. I didn't even look at the fact that he has an auto. <laughs> <laughs> I just completely ignored that. Oops. I'm gonna get called on that, aren't I? Jonah's gonna watch it, watch it, and be like, "We well, go say back to him about Gotenks." True. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I missed out on the auto on the studio. My bad. My own fault. I I'm not even sure how much of a difference it would have made, but don't think it would have. No. I don't think so. I don't even know when you played it. It was really early in the game when we didn't really do much. Yeah. Um. So on to the free cost now. Uh, start off with we got four copies of Sun Goku uh, Resolve Renewed. Uh, so this is from the new anniversary, yes. and it's counter attack. Uh, you can negate the attack and play this card. Permanent. If you have three or more energy, reduce the cost of this card in your hand by two, so it becomes a one cost negate. And then activate main. Pay one red. If your leader card is Vegito, which it is, uh, you can play this card from your hand by taking a life. So it's a bit of self awakening in the deck. Um, well, let's say a bit of self awakening. It's a bit more self awakening because we got the Vegeta one cast, we got Hyper Rush, we got it. <laughs> and the Vegeta is coming next. And the Vegeta is coming next. Um, so this is Vegeta Resolve Renewed. Uh, Counterplay it's about a card being played as 15k power or less. It is placed in its drop rate instead of being played, and then you can play this card. So it's, it's, a, it's a one drop denial. Yeah, well, Denar can hit 20k. Um, hits 15 or less. Uh, There's a mini denial. Mini denial. Uh, it's got the same permanent as the Goku, where its cost can get reduced as you've got free energy. And it also has the same skill as Goku, where you can pay one red and you can play it from your hand by taking a life. Um, next up, we got. Do, 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 do. Yeah, my, there we go. Uh, three copies of Double Shot for Vegeta. Um, so at the end of turn, well, end, sorry, end of the battle where you combo this card, you can play it from the combo area into rest mode into the battle area. You know, all those, they, those are used so much back in the day. Um, and we got two copies of Vegeta um, Pentant Martyr. Uh, so it's free cost, 20k power, sparking free when he's played. Uh, at the end of turn, you kill him off and you choose all your opponent's battle cards and return them to Jonah's hands. No restriction on what battle cards get bounced, it's all of them, apart from it doesn't ignore barrier. <laughs> um, and then we got two copies of the Vegeta Agent of Destruction. So, auto, when you play this card, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, 25k power or less, and KO it. And then he has activate main, once per turn, pay a blue and a colourless. Each leader card is red. This card gains 10k, double strike and dual attack for a turn. Eee. Makes the energy any colour as well. Well, the three colours. Well, you can run the yellow colour, so you have room four. You can, but you don't get the full of Yellow is just, just yellow. Have I noticed that you've got a lot more Vegeta than Goku? Yeah, that's because I used the Goku's as... Combo cards, like for different effects. Um, well, it's mainly the duo, which is the main thing. Um, and then we got one Comrades combined Sun Goku. Is that? Oh. Well, we got reprinted in the anniversary pack. Yeah, but this is the original version. 
Um, so, also, when you play this card, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, um, and then you choose up to one blue Vegeta card among them, with an energy cost of three or less, play it in rest mode, and then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. So it's just a way of helping set up your Batoras. Okay, on to the four costs, which there appears to only be five. Yes. Um, so we have four copies of the Vegeta Polymorphic Batora. Yes. Uh, this came in whichever, the first anniversary. Um, so, Adjuvate Main, pay one. You place it Place this card in your drop area from your hand. If you do, uh, no, sorry, if your leader card is Vegeta card, choose up to one Son Goku and one Vegeta card in your deck or drop it out with an energy cost of two or less. Oh, look, the duos. The duos, the red ones that come in the anniversary because they can't in all areas. One if you've got three or more. Uh, no, it's in your hand. Is it not anywhere else? I thought it was. No, only the hand. Basically, you just pay one to get these, and then you're meant to go uh, into the five cost for Geo from the new anniversary with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry. So you play them, you shuffle your deck, you look through it, um, and then oh, damn it, I've got to move this closer to me. Do the play in rest mode, shuffle your deck if you look through it. Uh, you can't play non Vegito battle cards for duration of turn. At the end of the turn, place all battle cards uh, were played with this skill into the drop area. So, pay one, get those two, and then go into your next card that's Batora's for free. Um, but before I show you that, we got one Ultra Instinct! Um, this is because I pulled it from the anniversary, so I have to. <laughs> you got to, haven't you? And it's got a counter attack. And it's got, yeah, counter play and counter attack, and they both play this card. Permanent, this card's skills can't be negated in any area by your opponent's skills. And then auto, uh, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, return it to your owner's hand, and if it's your opponent's turn, draw one card. Cool, right, I'm going to put him there, because of the next card. Uh, right, leave a copy of you there. Put you there. Grab you. Okay, so we've got four copies, well this is into the five cards now, so we've got four copies of... Uh, Fujito Resolve Combined. So, Fujito, I'm going to move to shiny one out of the way. It has Barrier, Union Batora. If your leader card is Red Fujito card and you. Uh, da -da. Yeah, it's a Red Fujito card and you. D and you. And you draw two. Why does it say do? What? And you draw two cards. Um, yeah, you can sack off a Goku and Fujita to draw. But you draw two and then you get rid of the Goku and Fujita. Then don't know why it's draw two first. Seems a bit weird. Because if the opponent stops, then you can just do it for a draw two. Ah, true. Uh, yeah. Because you have to fulfil the whole effect. Um, we've got Barry as well, which is nice. Uh, but Union Patrol is for free. You get to draw two cards. So before going to rest it, you basically go. Pay one. Pay one. Go into the so turn one. I do. You want to do this and then this. And then turn two. And then turn two. Go into another card. Um, but we'll go to that in a second. Uh, so, activate main or battle, you can pay two reds, uh, play up to one for Geo cards with energy cost of seven or less uh, from your deck uh, on top of this card, um, and then you shuffle your deck. And then he has activate main of paying four, this is basically just to get the secret rare. Uh, choose up to one for Geo cards with an energy cost of ten or less in your hand and play on top of this card. So, I mean, you could get the seven costs as well, but. Yeah, so that's that for Geo. And then we got one Lightning Speed for Geo for the old school style of getting out the, your seven costs. Um, because this is Unipator for free energy, uh, a Sun Goku and Vegeta, and you place them. Uh, yeah, place this card in active mode so you get rid of them. This comes in active, you can swing with it. Um, permanent discard uh, can attack battle cards in active mode. And then he has auto at the end of the battle after this card attacks, you mill yourself with 10 cards, and then you can play a Fujito card with energy cost 25k on top of this card in active mode. And then into the seven costs. Uh, 
So bear in mind guys, this was back when I didn't put as much money into the game and I was basically going off pulls and maybe a tiny bit of money spent. Um, so yes, this is all I have for my 7 costs. <laughs> um, so start off we've got the repeated force Vegito. Union Patora for 5, uh, Goku Vegeta, uh, place them under this card, yep. and then it's got Triple Strike, and then also, when it's card attacks, this card gains 5,000 power for each Son Goku uh, in your, well, Son Goku and Vegeta in your drop area, gains 5k. So it can swing like a truck. And it's got Triple Strike. And then we've got Hyper Rush, which has got exactly the same Union Patora effect and cost. Also has triple strike, except this one is auto. When you play this card, if your leader card is Fujito, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Uh, to do it. Yeah, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Up to one of your opponent, uh, one card in your opponent's hand, and play some drop area. Draw two cards, and then you can take two life. So, it does a lot. <laughs> Just for coming off this or this. Uh, turn two, you're supposed to really, these days go into Hyper Rush, just because it's the self-awakening, it gets rid of cards, and it draws your cards. Um, obviously, I haven't done that, because I don't have that. Um, but, yeah, that's just the way I've gone with it. That's just what I work with. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, any comments you want to leave, leave them down below. And thanks for watching. So, bye-bye.